All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make this abstract gradient form here in Photoshop. This had been inspired from Leo Rivero, and I'm going to make this a little bit different. All right, step one, make sure that you're on the black. Let's select the ellipse tool and press and hold shift, create a perfect circle, press control A and center it perfectly, press control D to deselect. And now we're going to go and select the curvature pen tool. And with this, you can basically select one of these anchor points and distort it however you like. I'm going to go somewhere up here. And now I also want to customize it. By the way, you can also add anchor points. And if you still want to customize it, you can go and select the pen tool, press and hold control, and you can drag the handles or reposition the anchor points and smoothen them even better. Go to the filter, blur. Let's select the radial blur. I'm going to go with the amount 100, click OK. Now press and hold Shift, select both layers, right click, convert a smart object. And I'm also going to add here another white solid. So I'm going to go here, solid color. I'm going to go with some light, click OK, drag it under the ellipse. And I'm going to double click here on the thumbnail of the ellipse. And I'm going to delete the background. And now I'm going to go to File and save and as you can see we got two tabs this is a new tab which is basically it's without the background and if you go back to the original you can see the previous tab with the ellipse smart object and the white solid that we created so i'm going to select the ellipse and i'm going to recustomize it a little bit i'm going to press ctrl t scale this down a little bit more and i'm going to press and hold alt create a new copy press ctrl t press and hold shift i'm going to rotate it in the opposite direction and I also could flip it vertically and maybe create something new. And from here, I'm going to press Control G. So I'm going to group these two smart objects. I'm going to rename it as Blur. Let's create a new empty layer. And I'm going to go and recolor the surface. So I'm going to select the brush. Let's select the color. For example, I'm going to go with a purple. Click OK. And I'm going to start coloring some of these areas. Change up the color. And I'm going to select yellow. And I'm going to add some yellow as well. Rename the layer as colors, right click, convert to smart object and press and hold alt. And let's go between the two layers. We got the smart object layer and the folder with the blur and click in between. And as you can see, it's going to show up this arrow pointing downwards. Click on it and boom now the colors basically took the form of the blur now this is still not the best because these areas here look kind of ugly so i'm gonna go to the filter blur again and select the radial blur again and i'm gonna maybe decrease it somewhere around 80 click ok customize it until you're gonna get to that sweet spot i'm gonna go to the adjustments select the hue saturation i'm gonna increase the saturation a little bit more and maybe also switch up the hue you also can go and double click on the color smart object to open it up and customize it even more. Add some new colors maybe. I'm going to add some red. And again, file, save. Let's go back to the original. And here we got some new results. Let's click on the hue saturation. Click on the adjustments. I'm also going to go to the curves and maybe add some contrast. Decrease the radial blur, maybe a little bit more until you're going to be satisfied with the results. You also can add some noise if you like. Click on the color, filter, noise, add noise. Make sure to uncheck the monochrome and decrease the noise until it's going to be subtle. You can click on the preview, check it or uncheck it. This is pretty good. Click OK. And this is how you work with this gradient abstract shape here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.